your business is in sync with LiveSync. This webinar is powered by LiveSync Accounting and Zero Accounting Software. Introducing Attorney Dexter Destajo. So when you're doing VT reporting, you just go to sales tax report. So I discussed this earlier. If you have set up properly your tax rates in zero, and then your period, so normally you would see all everything here, okay? So what is your TNR, accrual basis, three months, from March 1 to May 31. And what I would do is I would actually highlight all of them and then run a So now we're doing June, for example. Let's just skip uh, because I don't have data in May. So let's just do June 1. When I run this report, this report now can be used for my BAT return, okay? So this first portion by tax rate, you would know that you have nothing for exempt, nothing for no VAT, and then your VAT expenses, this is your VAT expenses, and this is your Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi sales, and then this is your Dubai sales, so your net payable is 1,151. But when you're completing your VAT return, you're using this data. So let me just do for you a very quick VAT return uh, to complete a VAT return. So if this is your VAT return here, technically what you would want to do is I would copy, let's say, for Abu Dhabi. I will do 5,000 here. So Abu Dhabi is this one. So automatically calculates for me. Okay. So now my Abu Dhabi, this one. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I should be copying this amount. My mistake. Okay. So, which is the net amount? Okay, so see that's the VAT. And then I'll do the Dubai. Where's my Dubai? Yep, this one, automatic calculates. And then I have an RCM here, 525. Now look at what we're doing with RCM using zero here. I'll do the amount in this amount. At the same time, I'll copy that amount here. It's also copied here. Yeah. So it reverse. We do the in the in the output and then we do the input reverse. So it's zero now. Next would be VAT expense. So my VAT expense is this amount. Okay. Okay. So then this is my VAT now, which would match to this amount. Then Kalas, you can send this VAT to FDA by using the report in zero, okay? So now you can do VAT filing for your company if you are using zero. Now, these are just a summary, but actually the breakdown here, there's another report which you can actually export, no? For your file, normally what we suggest is to export the file. When I export this file to Excel, this two tab will show up. Right, so the summary that you have just shown, uh, that we just saw in our zero will be here, right? This is amount due, and then this is also the breakdown. Now in zero, you can see this, that the amounts, these are actually its individual transaction. So if audit time, right, you can always come back, what is the amount? Okay, I have put five, uh, 110,000 and ten five thousand. If, if TA would ask, give me the invoices for this, you just go to this report or your Excel, the one that we just downloaded, and then we go to Dubai. So then, okay, generate all these invoices. Download and then send it to them. So now you have reference for each summary. So that's how powerful zero in, in VAT here. Okay, I have to, maybe you're asking, is zero accredited with FTA? Unfortunately, they zero until today, I'm still waiting. We are still waiting for them to make this action because it's only zero who would need to, to initiate this accreditation. We've communicated with them and so far they have not started. So um, we'll wait what, what they can do. 
but what we're doing right now is we're still using zero but every time we're doing using zero we make sure we downloaded the excel as our basis later always at any time so bet report in the portal you do not really need a software to even do, do a reporting it's just the software allows us to organize our work and then obviously if it is accredited then there's a reliability already by the IT on the system so unfortunately zero is still not accredited but you can still use zero for to get information for your bad filing